Welcome back. I wanted to shoot a quick video to highlight some tools that I picked up today from iFixit to add to my electronics repair set that I've been kind of putting together. If you go back a few videos ago, and I'll actually put a link someplace down in the description below, uh, I did a review on the iFixit repair business tool set. And when I purchased the kit, I decided to buy some additional tools to kind of throw in the bag to help me out with various repairs. Um, some of the pieces that I bought, I felt that maybe the you know complete kit should have came with. So uh, at the time I purchased them, I figured that would be a good idea to get. Um, those, those items basically in a nutshell were you know, a pair of nice flat nose pliers, a screw extractor set, um, a set of small files, which isn't an entirely necessary thing, but I find that a lot of times I either am building something new or modifying something and I, I find those to be handy. Um, a little slide ruler because I wanted something that you use as a straight edge I could fit into the bag. A infrared thermometer, which is always good for diagnostics. And of course, a digital caliper, which is always useful for measurements and stuff. So I had some money uh, added to my tool budget recently, and I got some new pieces here that I'd like to go over. Uh, by the way, this is a, a pretty nice package that they sent this in. Um, it was actually in a envelope, and I opened it up and slid this out. I was like, oh, that's kind of cool packaging. It's got the nice iFixit, you know, stuff here. And their, uh, you know, packaging's pretty good in this. But anyway, I'll pull these items out. Now, first up, if you remember the original iFixit um, tool set I mentioned, came with a anti-static mat and a wrist strap but there really wasn't any place to plug that in so on their website they have one of these desco branded ground plug adapters and these are very simple there's just a ground pin you plug this into any standard outlet and it gives you the option just to plug the wrist strap or the you know anti-static mat like i have here in the background directly into the ground um, the one thing i will mention that the original kit that i bought the uh, the wire that connects from the anti-static mat to this point actually has a jack for two connections so you can actually plug the wrist strap directly into that so that makes that handy and you know this is definitely something that's going to go in that bag because I need to be mobile whereas here in the bench you know this has got a place to plug into already so this is more useful in that mobile setting like I mentioned um, going back to the flat nose pliers these are ESD safe and I really like the way they feel so I picked up a couple other pieces in the line, as you can see here. Namely, um, these screw removal pliers was the more prevalent piece. Uh, it's rounded out at the edge over here. You can kind of see the two jaws over here. And the, the idea of this is, is when you're going to remove a screw that's stripped out, you can grab it from the top and twist it out with these. Now they make these in a couple different sizes. I went with the smaller pair because that would be the ones I'd probably use the most. And these also have that same anti-static style grip to it. They're very similar to these, except they don't have the spring action. They stay closed. And it's nice because you can grab screws both ways, either this way or from the top down and twist them out. And I was just um, playing around with these on an old hard drive here just to see if they work. And they actually work really well. Um, kind of the reason why I bought them. You know, the Japanese made tools, you can tell just holding them in your hand, they're very high quality. Now these things ran me, uh, it looks like around $20, which is a good price for them. And I believe these were, you know, $25 themselves. Um, the Japanese packaging is actually kind of neat. You know, it does have the English on here too. Um, but if you go on the iFixit website, there's a video here, and they mention the little dinosaur over here. It actually has a name, and it's kind of funny. But anyway, um, they have a little ring down the bottom here. You can put a key ring on or some kind of a strap, so if you want to hang them from your tool set or whatever, makes them nice. Um, also, since I had the flat nose pliers, which I can kind of get up close, these have like a micro serration on here. Uh, I also got the regular needlepoint long nose pliers here. These also have that same spring action. This one also has a wire cutter in here, which is nice dual purpose. And 
not sure how well they'll show up on the camera, but you can see there is a little bit of a difference between the two of these. And this also has different serrations on here. Again, also anti-static. Um, they are pretty similar when you look at them side by side, but they do each have their own special purpose. And I do also, you know, I, I like to keep all the original packaging, so I still have the packaging for this, just like those. Um, and then the other ones here, which isn't really anti-static, but they don't need to be. This is actually specific for Eclipse. Those pesky little clips that you, you know, find at the end of um, rods or, you know, different things like that. And actually, the reason why I bought all these tools in particular was because I just got done doing a repair. I had the money from the repair. I like to reinvest the money that I get into getting these tools right now since I am in the infancy of this business. And the re most recent repair that I did where I found a need for these was repairing a jukebox. And I had to remove a motor and the motor was held in by Eclipse. And what I ended up doing was I found that the needle nose pliers were just a little too fat. So I used a pair of um, diagonal cutters and I used them to like kind of pull the clip off the pin. And I didn't like doing it that way because that little Eclipse can just go springing and flying all over the place. But these actually have a special little set of grippers here and a magnetic end. So you could actually use this to remove and install the E-clip. And once again, these come in two different sizes as well. I went with the smaller ones for now because, you know, I, I find that I'll need them more frequently than the larger ones. Eventually, yes, I will have the larger ones in my arsenal here. But for now, these are fine. Now, I'll, I'll show you the three of these side by side have this kind of like a textured grip uh, which I like they fit in your hand really nice this one doesn't have the same kind of grip but this has got its own special purpose so this is more you know uh, a highly specialized tool and it will get quite a bit of usages now unfortunately I don't have any of the Eclipse in here with me I have a little box of them out in the van as uh, replacements just in case they get lost so I can't really show you how it holds one, but if you look at the diagram here on the package, you can get kind of the gist of it. These guys ran me uh, about $30. Now that seems like a lot for a pair of tools that have a special purpose, but trust me, <laughs> you don't want to lose an E-clip right in the middle of a field repair. That's not a good idea. And I didn't point out the price of the small knee on those pliers. Those were about $25. And I think that's how much the flat ones were as well. And the last tool that I have up here, is this three-piece scratch brush uh, scratch brush set and they actually sell them individually either the uh, red one here which is a fiberglass brush or you can get them as a set of three and one is a brass one is steel and they come in this nice little pack which I actually wasn't anticipating they come in this little pack so when I opened it up and saw them in there I thought that was kind of nice uh, this is basically what they call a file or sandpaper in a miniature design if you twist the end out here you can see the little bristles come out and like I said this is the fiberglass one and if you wanted to you know remove like corrosion or something like that you can just get in there and and do that I'm not sure if you can see but it actually sanded down a little piece of my nail over here that's you know I don't really have anything in front of me to show you but you know the as these things wear away you can just extend more of it out and I've actually um, seen one of these in my dad's collection back in the day when he did a lot of repairs and stuff. And this is great for, you know, cleaning the corrosion off of battery terminals and all that kind of stuff or uh, any kind of contacts you want to clean. You can actually see the other ones here. I believe this is the brass one being that it's yellow. And there's the, the brass wire end. And then there's also the steel one, which is obviously going to be the black one. Nice, uh, definitely a nice piece to have in your kit. In fact, you know, I'm getting to be a pretty well-rounded, you know, electronics repair set here with between all this stuff. Uh, the only thing that I kind of not super, super crazy about is the fact that the business repair set 
doesn't really have a whole lot of little loops and stuff to put things in here like that. Uh, I'm sure I can modify the thing or even get a different insert to stick inside of it, but I really want some kind of little pockets that can just slip all these little tools right in, so I think that'd be pretty nice. But really, you know, that's such as the thing with this set. You know, I can, I'm not gonna go into detail with all the other pieces because there's a whole nother video just for that, but you know, they don't take up a lot of room, so these little packs can sit down the bottom. This thing will have its own little spot to go in. All these will probably just go right down the bottom. Um, I find that with these spring-loaded ones, maybe I'll get like a little, you know, rubber band or something just to keep them together, whereas these other ones, I don't have to worry about it. But really, you know, that's all matters of preference. Now, that's really all I have to do about this video. I uh, just wanted to highlight these tools quickly and just, you know, give you an idea of the kind of things that I find to be useful when doing various repairs. And well, as always, I say in the end of every my video, if you're not a regular subscriber, I would re really appreciate you subscribing. Um, I'm getting closer and closer every day. It seems like every time I go off on YouTube, there's more subscribers and it's just really mind blowing to me. Um, I didn't think this channel was gonna grow as quickly as it, di as it is. Um, I'm not into the clickbait you know, viral video stuff where, you know, I'm going to put one video up and get a million views from it. I'd rather do more sensible videos to the best of my ability and promote them to the best of my ability and uh, pick up whatever viewers I get from it. But as always, you know, if you want to leave a thumbs up or a thumbs down, if you leave thumbs down, please Tell me why in the comments below. I really want to improve these videos. And, you know, I've, I see that ever since I've been mentioning this in videos, there have been a couple thumbs down. But no one tells me why. <laughs> I'm sure I'm not the best YouTuber. I know there's people out there far better than I am. But, you know, this is uh, kind of a hobby right now. This isn't a full-time job for me. I have a full-time job. Um, I'm turning this electronics business slowly in into a part-time job of its own. Eventually, this will be a full-time job. I'll have more stuff coming on my bench. Um, I will tell you that I went through my father's tool set today. He actually had me come over and go through some stuff and he pulled out a bunch of his old meters from the 70s, the 80s, and you know, he really didn't buy any after that because it wasn't a need to because the ones he had just lasted. So I have in this room a box of meters of all different shapes and sizes and uses and I'm gonna go through one by one and clean them all up and we're gonna do a video on that and there'll be tons of stuff to be looking at here soon some definitely some interesting stuff so stick around again subscribe if you're not if you are thank you so much I always appreciate it uh, and you can also find me on Facebook I do a lot of stuff on there when when I can to show what's coming up and everything else and that's all I have for this video thanks for watching